Samsung has long been a pioneer in the field of foldable technology. It's time to take a closer look at the Galaxy Z Fold 5, which is set to replace the Galaxy Z Fold 4. While the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is one of the greatest folding smartphones currently available, there is always room for improvement. The impending flagship foldable device has been the subject of speculations, although it won't likely be launched for a while. While the race for high-end folding phones is heating up and Samsung presently enjoys an edge over its longtime competitor Apple, we hope Samsung will add some of the features we already know about and anticipate to see in the device. It is practically a given that the Galaxy Z Fold 5 will be made available, and it is anticipated to be on sale later this year. With the exception of the first Galaxy Fold, which was unveiled in March 2019, Samsung has typically launched its foldable phones around August. However, according to a recent claim from the elect, a Korean news website, Samsung may advance the debut date by two to three weeks, with a probable reveal date of July 26 and sales beginning a week afterwards. It is too soon to make predictions about the Galaxy Z Fold 5's price, since variables like the rising global cost of living, more costly raw materials, and higher shipping charges might affect the ultimate cost. The forthcoming Galaxy Z Fold 5 is anticipated to feature a similar design to its predecessor with a 6.2-inch exterior screen and a 7.6-inch inside display, according to the current consensus among leakers and tipsters. However, the bezels could be somewhat shrunk, making the total dimensions slightly lower. It is believed that the device would be slimmer than the previous generation, making it more convenient for pockets. One important improvement anticipated in the Galaxy Z Fold 5 is the removal of the space between the two sides of the phone when folded shut. The speculated color possibilities are cream, blue, and phantom black. Rival foldable phones with a teardrop-style hinge, which also helps to lessen the visual crease along the middle of the screen, have successfully implemented this functionality. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So with that been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.